So, welcome back to another episode of Symphogear G or Symphogear Season 2. So, in the previous episode, we met two new girls who are helpers of Maria, I guess, friends. I don't know what exactly they are, but it's uh, Kirika and Shirabe. So, Kirika, you guys let me know about the um, VAs. Kirika is voiced by Ai Kayano, which is absolutely insane. Of course, most known for me at least is for um, voicing roles like Darkness from Konosuba. Uh, Mashiro Shina from Sakuraso, uh, also Shiro from no Game, no Game No Life, Akari from Sangatsu no Lion, uh, among other roles, of course. She is just very, very, very um, popular. So that's great to see. And also, uh, Shirabe is voiced by Nanjo Hoshino, who for me is obviously Eri uh, from Love Live, right? Also, she is, according to you guys, she's also a former vocalist of Freepside, which is Really, really cool. I didn't actually know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that Eddie's VI uh, used to be in Fripside. But that's really cool. I also did mention Fripside in, I think, back in season one, right? How the op I think I said, like that the OST or the opening or something sa uh, sounds a lot like uh, Fripside. And yeah, yeah. Who knew? Who knew? Um, uh, but yeah. Either way, it was an absolutely insane episode, of course. When is it not with Symphogear? Um. Our girls had a triple attack or like a combo triple attack called S2CA, I think, Triburst, which was like an insane combo attack of basically, I think it was all three of them using their superb songs. And then um, I think how it works is that Hibiki took on the strain from them because her obviously she gets uh, afflicted a lot less by the, the physical strain of the of the Sympho gear. So I think it was basically them channeling their... Um, physical strain onto Hibiki and then Hibiki negating most of it because she's just built different but yeah at the end of the day simplification is she was using her friends as weapons which is insane but yeah um uh it was a really cool episode I really like the uh, weapons that the new characters have um I think Kirika has like the uh oh wait which one is which I forgot but like one of them has the sight and the other one has the um the saw blades which is really really cool I mean I feel like they're just really really um creative when it comes to like attacks and stuff like that so it's gonna be interesting seeing where this goes and then at the end we saw the doctor uh laughing and like having his staff of salomon or whatever i'm 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 really interested in seeing how he what kind of role he ends up playing i want to see more of him he seems interesting anyways um if you want to watch this uncut and unblurred it's gonna be on my patreon which is down in the description and without further ado let's go into symphogear g episode three S to CA! I love this. I love this chant, song, whatever you want to call it. It's so cool. That's crazy. Dude, they overkill this thing so much. Dude, how Yuki? Ooh, dude, yeah. We saw this at the end of the previous episode. What a scene. <laughs> That's actually crazy. <laughs> hmm. The light of dawn. So she's gonna probably be the main villain. Let's watch. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. I like that. Ah. Uh, damn. Okay. 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 Yin and Yang. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of things in the opening that I still don't understand, but like a lot of the symbolic stuff. Those who crave the end, those who brave the end, those who brave the end. Is brave a verb? Also reduce the strain, okay. Mm. Okay, so she's explaining the entire thing. That's cool. Nephilim. Giants that fell from the heaven. Okay. The Nephilim. A Nephilim. Is that Neph is a Nephilim supposed to be like half angel, half devil, or is it supposed to be like a maybe a fallen angel, something like that? Right. That's a Nephilim, right? I think. I, I know I've heard it before. I can't... Like, it's a mythical creature. I think it's like a... Either a fallen angel or ha half angel, half devil. ファーマンスで自分たちの存在を知らしめたくらいです。オステンテシャス。あ、我々にかの速報できたのですが。高等卓ラム床にはいつかおしくないやり方だ。案外狙いはその通りなのか。風なりして。おお、おおか。そちら
何か悩み事でもあるのかしらはいとっても大事な秋ですものね橘さんにだってきっといろいろ思うところがあるんでしょう例えば私の授業よりも大事なあれ新校舎に転<笑>あー、カルチャーファン、オッケー。だって、こ<音>の<楽>私Or if it's like, it could be, it's probably completely separate. I'm gonna guess. I don't know. <laughs> She looks so edgy. <laughs> yeah, she's so edgy. <laughs> The art is so good. YouTube. Um, I'm just gonna have to heavily blur it. Okay. Oh, these are the Nephilim. Oh, my boy. I love this guy. It definitely, it definitely feels like um, the trio of Maria, Shirabe, and Kirika. It definitely feels like those three are gonna end up coming to our side, kind of like how Chris ended up coming to our side. And then the real villain, villain are gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be both of them or if it's just gonna be the mom. Maybe it could be Ver, but I'm gonna take a guess that it's gonna be the mom. Um, yeah, definitely feels like we're building up to that kind of plot progression, which I'm down for.
I love that. I love this guy. He's just so unapologetically suspicious. <laughs> uh, oh, Chris. Speak of the devil. Watch it! Of course. <laughs> the, the school fair? Is participation like required? Or can you just go home? I guess it's required. That sucks. <laughs> She's so bored. Touche. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Look at Chris. <laughs> I love how smug she is. <laughs> she was very different. Why is she being so sassy? I love it. Wow. I can't imagine staying late at school by will. Like, by my own will. That sounds crazy. Look, at least they're nice. They're nice enough to color the the smoke, the gas. So that you can notice it. Okay, here we go. That's it. Of course. Hell yeah. 
<laughs> Good. Good. Chris is so adorable in this episode, man. So smug. What a banger of a song. Of course. She's just spamming blue flash. Damn, Hibiki's getting tired. Is it the gas? <laughs> Nephilim! Is it? Is this the Nephilim? Whoa! Boy, <laughs> he's so cool. Uh, yeah, it looked very easy. Uh, what a guy. Here we go. Oh. Damn, that does not look nice. Woo! I see. It's less efficient. A superb song might actually become dangerous. Uh oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Whoa. Man, that's sick. That's sick!
What? Oh, Maria. She's so cool. She kind of reminds me of uh, Lelouch from Code Geass with like the cloak. Oh, so she is Fine. Oh. And that's it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, banger one episode, man. Oh, okay. That's cool. So, Maria is Fine. I, if that's true, then... I mean, I kind of... I really don't like Fine. <laughs> so, I kind of hope that she doesn't become, like, an ally. If she actually is Fine. I'm gonna assume that she is, but also I could see them being like, actually, it wasn't Maria, it was actually her mom all along, or something like that. I could see that happening. Um, but, because I feel like they're building up Maria to end up, to join uh, our group, but I could be wrong. And if she actually is Fine, I don't think they're gonna end up joining the group. Just because I feel like um, Fine is, I mean, it's gonna be really hard to re redeem her as a character, right? After everything that she's done to Chris. Like, that was just disgusting. But yeah, anyways. Um... I am interested in finding out who Fina is gonna end up being and like if like they actually are Fina uh, or like if there actually is an actual Fina or if they're just posing. I guess we'll see. Uh, also, I feel like the uh, Shiraba and Kirika duo, I feel like they definitely have some kind of mentality of wanting to save the world, but it's like obviously or wanting to save people they care about or something, but it's definitely different from our squad and then they're gonna end up seeing eye to eye eventually. Uh, that's what it feels like right now. Um, also, there's a new type of enemy we see, uh, Nephilim, right? Who, I mean, they said that they are from heaven, right? They, they fell down from heaven, which implies the existence of heaven. Which, I don't know how deep we're gonna go into actual, like, heaven uh, stuff. But, I mean, to be fair, Fina did uh, talk about the creator, right? And her saying that she was what, his assistant or whatever, of the creator, right? So, I mean, we already did explore those um, topics a little bit before, um, but I didn't think they're gonna actually become, like, this big of a deal or, like, um, this closely intertwined with the story. That's gonna be cool to see how it ends up playing out. Also, whenever Ver is on screen, it's just so much fun. He's such a fun character. He, he's just so unapologetically suspicious and crazy that it's just fun to watch. I love him. I love him. He's, he's, he's the best. But yeah, <laughs> also, I feel like uh, Chris, this episode has been extra smug, extra adorable. I, I like that. I always love to see that, you know. <laughs> Chris is uh, cute. But yeah, anyways, I feel like that is all we are also. Oh, yeah, uh, I don't know how big of a role the school fest or school fair is going to end up playing. But that's also coming up in the future. That's going to be interesting to see if it's going to be important at all. I guess we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to end this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.